Hi everyone, today we're going to visit Lining Web Component Recipes and this is by far our most popular sample app. My name is Philippe Ozil, I'm a developer advocate at Salesforce and I'll be your host. As a reminder, this video is part of the series in which we tour the different sample apps. If you haven't watched the first episode yet, I recommend that you watch it for a general introduction to sample apps. In this episode, we're going to do a tour of the Lightning Web Components Recipes application, or LWC Recipes. We're going to take a look at two recipes, Hello Binding and Apex Imperative Method. LWC Recipes contains more than 100 of small components known as recipes. Recipes illustrate how to accomplish certain tasks with Lightning Web Components. To the difference of our sample apps, there's no overall business use case in LWC Recipes. Each recipe, represented by a card on this page, acts as a standalone short example. Recipes are grouped by theme, represented by tabs. These range from very basic concepts like this first hello tab to more advanced architectures such as data service, Apex, intercomponent communications, lightning messaging service, GraphQL, and more. As a first stop, we're going to look at a very basic recipe, Hello Binding. This recipe simply demonstrates how you can use dynamic binding in a template. In other words, if I type something in this input, notice how the component is updated. All right, this is pretty simple, but let me show you what comes with the recipe. Each recipe card comes with a short description of what it demonstrates and a link to the source code in GitHub. Since this is all open source, we can also check it out and open it in Visual Studio Code. From there, we can also take a look at the jest test associated to our component and run them. Recipes not only demonstrate how to achieve a task with code, but also show you how to properly test the related code. As a convention, LWC tests are generally located in an underscore underscore test underscore underscore folder under the component folder. Unlike Apex tests, LWC tests are never deployed to your org. They run in isolation and you can even run them offline. Let's now take a look at the code of a basic test. This test ensures that the component text is updated to reflect what we enter in the input. The test starts by creating a recipe component and adding it to a virtual page. We then simulate user input by placing some text in the lining input component and manually firing a change event. We wait for the DOM to render asynchronously and for Lightning Web Components to refresh the page. We then check the greeting has the expected value. Not only do we test for functionality of our components, but we also test our UI for accessibility thanks to Sally. Sally is an open source Jest plugin written by Salesforce that helps to check accessibility. For the record, this Jest plugin works with any web technology, not just Lightning Web Components. With close to 400 Jest tests, LWC Recipes has an overall code coverage greater than 90%. This is not the first thing that you notice when you look at this app, but there are many tests and it's a gold mine for learning how to build and how to run those tests with Lightning Web Components. While Hello Binding is pretty simple to understand, recipes can get more complex. Let's take a look at something more advanced like Apex Imperative Method. This recipe demonstrates how you can call Apex on the fly with so-called imperative mode that is, an imposition to using a wire. When we first click on the button here, we call our Apex control to retrieve the contacts. The component's JavaScript code is pretty simple. We import a reference to our Apex controller method, contact -controller contact list. Then all the logic is in the button click handler. Notice that this is an async method. We call getContactList with an await statement and store its return value in a context variable. The call to our Apex endpoint is surrounded by a try-catch clause, which lets us capture errors. Now that we've seen the recipes code, let's take a look at how we test it. We import our getContactListApex method, like if we we're going to use it, but there's a catch. Jest tests work in isolation, so we can't connect to our Apex controller. Instead, we overwrite our import with a Jest mock. This means that whenever our component tries to import the Apex method, it will end up with a Jest mock. We prepared mock data for success and error responses. This can either be done in line or we can use dedicated files if we want to return more data. Now that our mocks are prepared, let's take a look at a test. 
Here we test the happy path first. We set up the mock response value for Apex method. We create our Lightning Web component and we attach it to our virtual test page. We then simulate the click on the button. We wait some cycles for synchronous component re-rendering. And we check that the display text matches our mock data. This concludes our tour of Lightning Web Components recipes. We saw a very basic recipe and a more advanced one, but there are hundreds of other recipes along with their source code. Head over to this link to get started. Don't forget to like and subscribe this video if you found this content useful. Remember this is part of a series and we'll be touring with different sample apps in the upper videos. Thanks for watching!